Hey everyone. Yeah, so I thought I'd do a little update um, after the last video, which was uh, probably a very, um, it was probably the biggest video for me, emotional wise, um, as you've probably seen. Um, so yeah, probably that was the that was the start of an emotional week and a half roller coaster for me. Um, basically, after that, I done that video, I probably cried for. Yeah, but two days. So last Friday and Saturday, yeah, more or less cried um, all day. Like um, I've never probably cried before. Um, the last time I probably cried like that was probably at my dad's funeral. So that's ten years, and that's probably ten years of, of build up. Um, so yeah, that was that was really really good, and I, f I felt so much better after it. Um, actually, like so much lighter. Everything was, yeah, it just sort of fell into alignment sort of thing. Um, and yeah, the the support from my friends and family, like I wasn't, I, I, I actually wasn't going to post that video because I just wanted to vent. And then I thought it might um, be good to post it for me and then good for other people, maybe could relate to it. And that's what I got a good few responses from people. Um, saying it's helped them, so I'm happy that it's done that, and this the support from my family and friends was, is brilliant. So I'm just happy to thank you all. Um, and it's funny, I got a message from a, a friend at home, um, which really touched me. It was just, I'm going to ask him could I read it out because it's it was brilliant for me, um, and I cried even more when I read it. It's funny because whenever it was last Friday night, I think, and. Uh, I was watching, I was crying all day, and then I was watched um, My Sister's Caper. Have you ever seen it? It's fucked. Like, it's just, like, it's not even sad at the end. It's sad the whole way through it. So it helped me on my on my mission to cry. So I watched it, and then I got this message, uh, and I cried even more. It was, it was, yeah, it was just mental. So it was, so I'll read it out here. Um, it says, hey big guy, just watched your latest video and thought I'd drop you a wee message. To start with, I think it's amazing what you're doing for the charity, all us guys do, and we are behind you 100%. I'm sure you knew before you started this it wasn't going to be plain sailing, haha. <laughs> but you're a smart man, you understand when things are wrong and how to fix them. Things might not seem so good at the minute, but it's not always going to be like that. you got to take the rough with the smooth and all that. Just keep on trucking. You're a good man doing good things. Now I'll share a story with you. LOL. Up until last week I never believed in miracles until I got a call from my ex-girlfriend. The only girl I've ever loved. She was taken into hospital with stomach pains. They thought it was maybe her appendix until they discovered she was in labour. They took her straight away, broke her waters and two pushes later I'm a dad to a healthy young boy. LOL. She never put on weight. And or had heartburn or was sick, no signs at all she was pregnant. So from last week sitting, thinking I'll probably not find another girlfriend or have my own kid, I'm feeling down and sorry for myself. Until now my whole world has flipped around and for the first time in years I'm happy and something good has happened for a change and every, everyone is over the moon. I guess everything happens for a reason, so just remember what you're doing all this for and that we are all thinking about you. Hopefully... Hopefully this maybe it cheered you up a bit and that's all I wanted to do. LOL and here meet Sam and he posted a picture of the little kid and it's he's adorable. Um so I'm gonna see if I can post a picture onto the, the, the page as um, the chastity page as well if, if anyone's interested. So yeah, um that just touched touched my heart some serious because this this friend of mine from home, he has he has had the like a really, really tough last couple of years like you couldn't imagine it um, I'll not get into details but yeah he's um, he's had a real real tough time past couple of years and it was just really really moving for me to get this message from him um, and yeah so thanks for that at this stage I was I was nearly needing a wetsuit because of the tears were just flooding flooding me so I was uh, um, yeah full on so yeah so apart from that I've sort of done a lot of sort of inner inner reflection. I actually came across a book um, by an author called Debbie Ford. Um, it's called The Secret of the Shadow, which is basically about your shadow self. So the stuff that I'm going through, or I'm working through about um, 
all the beliefs you held from a kid and how you're finding evidence for it growing up and, and stuff that's happening. This book goes into it exactly in detail and there's action steps and stuff at the end of each chapter. It's a really, really good book. It's by Debbie Ford. Um, yeah, I've read the book probably two days last weekend and then I've been doing the actions every day this week, which has been really, really good and really insightful and learning learning heaps about myself, you know, the, the real me sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, um, what else? So, yeah, it's funny, like, about crying. Um, cause I remember, I remember like with Claire one day, um, she was crying and I was like, oh, don't cry. I think we're just wired like that to not want to see the other person unhappy. You just go, oh, don't cry. But really the crying is the best. Like, and she always told me this here, like, this is why I'm so grateful to have met her. Um, yeah. And it's, you should actually encourage crying because I've, I've found it's really, really helped me so much this last week and a half, and I feel like a different man because of it. Um, people say it's weak. You know, some people will say it's weak to cry, blah, 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 but that's bullshit. Um, I think it takes, you know, real courage and real vulnerability to cry. So definitely encourage it. Like, if you see someone crying, don't be going, like, get it out, hurry up, harder, harder. <laughs> but um, definitely just let them be in and let them cry sort of thing. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, um, what else is going on? Um, yeah, that's probably about it. Um, we're nearly at the $10,000 mark for the charity. So I've got another charity event coming up, um, an indoor trampoline joint. Uh, in a couple of weeks time so hopefully get a good turnout for it and hopefully tip over the 10 grand mark um, I pay for my Cambodia trip which I'm looking forward to and yeah um, everything's still going well um, what else definitely miss Claire and definitely an unreal connection there but I just really have to focus on me at the minute and uh, sort of do the stuff that I have to do so um, and yeah, that's really it. Just want to thank everyone for their support from the last video and everyone that's messaged me. And yeah, um, thanks heaps. And uh, I'll check in again in a couple of weeks' time to see how things are going, but everything's going good. So, onwards and upwards. See you, yes.